Επιστρέφουμε τώρα σε αυτό που απασχολεί όλη την παγκόσμια κοινότητα, το αν, πότε και πώς θα απαντήσει το Ισραήλ. Δεδομένο θεωρεί ότι θα απαντήσει το Τελαβίβ στην επίθεση του Ιράν, ο πρώην εκπρόσωπος του Ισραηλινού στρατού, Τζόναθαν Κουρίκους. Μιλώντας στην Έλλη Κασόλη, εκτιμά πάντως ότι τα αντίπεινα ενδέχεται να εκδηλωθούν σε χρόνο που θα ευνηδιάσουν την άλλη πλευρά. It seems that Israel held out, although Iran hit with 300 drones. I would like a comment on this. I think it was an unprecedented attack against Israel. 99% of all of the incoming enemy uh, attempts were successfully intercepted by Israel and allies who were working in coordination with Israel. Uh, so it is definitely a very significant military achievement. Uh, it's a military failure for Iran. Uh, they tried, they tried hard, but they did not succeed at all. And in fact, you could say that they fell flat on their nose in terms of really inflicting any damage on Israel. Can Israel count its endurance as a victory? Is the country satisfied or will Israel take the next step and answer? You can never win by defending. If you want to win and achieve victory against an enemy, then you have to, of course, take initiative and also to attack the enemy, especially after that enemy attacks you. So in my mind, Israel uh, cannot uh, only sustain and let's say be happy with the achievement of defending itself, but it will have to take the initiative and retaliate against Iran. This type of attack, the amount of missiles fired and the severity of the fact that Iran chose to strike from Iranian soil against Israel cannot go unanswered. If Israel finally makes such a decision and escalates tension, does the country hope to have allies in this movement or will they fight alone? I think whatever Israel does, it will have to coordinate it with the U.S. And uh, going at it alone would not be a wise thing. I think that it would serve American interests and Israeli interests if Israel went ahead and uh, actually addressed the Iranian threats. And I think that the U.S. would be better off in the Middle East and it would also be better off in its global standing if it goes with Israel after this specific horrible and uh, really uh, uh, unprecedented attack against Israel by Iran. If Uh, the U.S. forces Israel not to retaliate, then this will be a clear message to any other future potential U.S. ally in the region or any current U.S. ally. It will be a wrong message that uh, the U.S. Uh, helps and supports in defense, but not really in defeating enemies, but just keeping a conflict alive. That's not a good message and it's not good for U.S. Uh, interests either.